Kelly, and I'm back with a two-page Tuesday layout for you today, so double-page layout. I'm going to um, scrapbook these photos of a hike that my grandson and his dad went on together. I'm going to start it with that wood paper, which is um, Chamel Never Grow Up. It's the Live Outdoors paper. And then the reverse side of it is that wood, uh, or not the wood, the leaf print that I just put on the left hand facing page and then again on the right hand facing page and I decided I wanted the two to be similar but not exactly the same because the photographs from the left side to the right side are not exactly the same so I have a little bit more paper on the right side revealed obviously part of that is because they're portrait photos versus the landscape photos then to further kind of coordinate the two sides even though they're different photos and different reveals of the leaf paper i'm going to use that compass paper which is from echo park um, the summer adventure collection and that's from the 12 by 12 pad so sorry guys i think i accidentally hit my um, camera there so i'm just adding this in here and then i will um, put the um, compass down there and then I'm going to leave a little bit of space at both the top and the bottom of these vertical photos here that we'll get a little bit more of the leaf print on both sides there and my idea is that I'm probably going to put a journaling card in the blank space there on the right side. So then I didn't have enough of the um, wood paper left. I only had three pieces here. So, um, or the wood slash leaf paper. So what I'm going to do is just use the remnant of that um, paper from the right side on the left so that it looks like it's taking up more space than it actually or there's more paper to it than there actually is which is fine so I'll just pop that in there and then I want to make sure that the real reveals are not exactly the same there so like right now the leaves there and the wood are about the same on the left side so I, I will change that I picked out a journaling card there from the summer adventures 12 by 12 pad again it's one of the cut aparts and then um, I was toying with that compass but didn't love how that actually looked thought about maybe because I already have compasses on there I liked the wood 3 by 4 cut apart there but that um, doesn't look quite right because it's already on wood so I'm still playing around with a little bit and here's where I actually decide how much of the leaf paper I want revealed so a little bit less than the width of the compass paper that reveals more of the wood. And I decide that wood 3 by 4 card, as much as I love it, is not going to work. But I do like this go see do with the binoculars there because that particular grandson of mine is really um, a, high, a high energy kid. So he loves to be outside and, um, you know, exploring and, and that kind of stuff. So it was nice that he was able to do that. And even though my um, stepson and his wife have four kids, they definitely take them on dates um, with mommy and daddy separately, actually, which I think is pretty awesome that the kids get one-on-one -on -one time with, with their parents and individual parents. All right, so now I'm going to embellish this. And I'll take a look here to see what's available and I have that compass there and that is from Ellie Studio as is the geotag that I just put on the card on the top right and then to add some more wood in I grabbed these trees which are from Recollections and they're actually um, from a Christmas collection from a few years ago All right, so I'm toying with seeing if maybe I can get a little a, um, a little bit more like embellishment on here of sort of a wood uh, feeling. And I'm working with some of the chipboard from the Summer Adventure Collection. And I do like those hiking boots. And I thought I'd 
echo the hiking boots on the top right card there but I didn't like where they were anywhere they just didn't look quite right so now I'm toying with the die cuts there playing with the die cuts and then I find that um, hike and be happy chipboard and that came from the Echo Park Summer Adventure chipboard pieces and then the boots which I just put on the card on the top there just to kind of pop that up so now I have chipboard on both sides there those boots um, came from the Echo Park Summer Adventure chipboard accents. So they have two different chipboard sheets with this collection, which I think Echo Park does quite often with their bigger collections. Okay. So there we go there. I'm just getting all these pieces down that I know. So far, just a little bit of a, you know, kind of... Um, making sure that I'm touching all the layers there. That's what helps unite clusters so that the wood is on the left is touching the chipboard as well as the three by four card as well as the wood paper there too. And then I found this little leaf and decided just to add that in so there's chipboard in that um, tree cluster on the bottom as well. That's really what that was all about. And then I'm looking at um, perhaps doing some enamel dots there. And I find my enamel dots from um, Altenew. And these are the seashore dots. So I like those because they come with a lot of different um, shades on the same, the same um, pack. So I think they're a little bit more expensive, but you get so many, both in the one, like one shade, but also quite a few different shades. So I'm just adding three in each of the cluster areas. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add these puffy letters from LE Studio. They're the puffy alpha stickers here. And I kind of was going back and forth about how I was going to do this title because really, the word on the bottom is the smallest word, which normally I wouldn't like that as much. And, be, and then the bottom, the top two words are actually really about the same width. But in the end, I think it works out. I don't think it looks funny. I was a little concerned about that. Okay. And now I'm just changing the, now that I've got the title on, I'm just changing where those enamel dots are there. All right, guys, here is the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs>